and welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, three big fans today, one book, and we're going to see who knows it better. I'm Steve Schenken, and my co host is, as always, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Whoa. And our author guest today, Aaron and Chada Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, our book is We Dream of Space. <laughs> and you may notice the challengers who we'll interview, inter- introduce in a second are wearing. They're Newberry t-shirts. Do you guys know that it's, well, you do because of your shirt, obviously, that it's the 100th anniversary of the Newberry Award. So we're just going to highlight that when we have on winning books and authors. And there's even some, if you want to, your own handsome t-shirt like that, I'm going to, I'll put a link in the description below and you can get to the ALA gift shop website. But Aaron, we're lucky to have you because you have a medal for Hello Universe, and today's book, We Dream of Space, a Newberry Honor, which is awesome. This book came out in 2020, so you should be pretty ready, right, for this challenge? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah, you look ready. (laughs) And your challengers are really ready. I'm going to let Stacey do the honors of introducing them. Oh, I'm super excited to introduce Isaac, Eden, and Ainsley, who are three seventh graders from Maryland. They are book ambassadors, so that means that they're super readers. They're always recommending books to their friends and classmates, so they are just super ready, ready to go. Very serious. I'm excited. So I'm going to ask this Book ambassadors first, the month of January in Mrs. Salonga's class was dedicated to this. This is for the kids. The Challenger Space Exploration. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. They start out easy. Um, Aaron, after school, you will usually find fish at this place. The Pinball Wizard Arcade. Awesome. Guys. What does Bird call her drawings? Bird's eye views. Bird's eye views. You guys all agree? Yeah, yep. bird's eye views. That's right. And Aaron, you did those drawings, right? Is that right? I did, yeah. I really wanted to show, um, I felt like seeing her schematics would really show the reader like how her mind works. It's cool. The very first book I wrote, I put in comics and did all the drawings myself. And then when it finally got published, the publisher said, yeah, now we're going to hire a good artist to do all the drawings. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I understood. It made sense. It made sense in that context. I'm not bitter <laughs> anymore. You can tell. All right, Aaron. What does Penny write on Cash's cast? Penny writes, Penny loves Charlie. Yes. Very good. We knew you guys would be good, though. We were expecting that. Okay. Book ambassadors. Who was the mission specialist on the Challenger? Oh, no. It's like Family Feud. We should play Jeopardy music. We need to play Jeopardy music. (laughs) Do, 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 do. I I hear hear the name being in the Resnick? Yes. <laughs> very good. You rallied. Yeah. Judy Resnick. Yes. Very good. And I, you know, I was in high school when this happened. And as an adult reading it, you know the end, you know what's going to happen. So you're on the edge of your seat, you know, thinking about all of this when you know that kids don't may or may not know the result. I, I just thought it was an, I, I love this book so much. In, Thank you. In class, birds crew names, birds crew names their space shuttle this. And this is for you, Aaron. Um, well, I know that, that the Jessica's first suggested Lucky Star because they love Madonna and the boys nixed that idea and they landed on Bright Star One, which was actually the original title for the book. Oh. Yes. But then it got changed as titles often do. So that was the original title, but we changed it to We Dream of Space. Hmm. Titles are hard, aren't they? They're hard. They're the worst. I hate them. I've never come up with a good (laughs) idea yet. No, me neither. I mean, my editor says, "Mm, let's keep thinking, you know, with my original titles. And it's just like this. It's really difficult. But eventually we land on something. Yeah, true. All right. 
guys. Um, basketball is a big part of Cash's story and his dad's too. So they, Cash and his dad, they root for this basketball team. The Sixers? Yes, Philadelphia <laughs> 76ers, especially Dr. J. All right, Aaron. Now, if you're a fan of author fan face-off, and let's face it, who isn't, <laughs> then you'll know that when when characters in book and character, characters in books are almost always reading books. I think because authors love to give shout outs to other books and reading. And so we always love to ask about that. And in, in your book, Fitch is reading a particular book. What is the book he's reading? <laughs> Okay, I, it's a choose your own adventure book, mm -hmm. but I can't remember which one, but it is an actual book that that I had. So it's is it is one in choose your own adventure the choose your own adventure series. But I can't remember which one. I, I think, can't remember the title. And I think that's good enough, but I had to look back a, a second time to find if you had mentioned it and you had what which book he's reading. Do you guys remember the that tiny and this is a one time detail. No, I I don't think nope. we I I think I think it was Space and Beyond. Space uh, and yeah. Beyond, correct. <laughs> wow, hold it out. I loved those books, right? Your heart oh, yeah. would be pounding. You know, did I make the right choice? <clears throat> um, sometimes I would I would cheat a little bit. I would like choose look at both answers. <laughs> or you decide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, confession. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, tie okay, game. Okay, I think this is this is mentioned maybe only a couple times. Um, for the kids, what was the last movie the Nelson Thomas family saw together? That's a tough one. It's like I'm trying to read lips. <laughs> and though? That's mentioned. Was that was it Rambo? Was that the guess? That's close. That's, it's close. There's an alien. But, in it. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie. Wait, there's an alien in it. An alien. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah. oh, you were going to get it wrong too, then, if you didn't know that. <laughs> I think I was going to get it wrong too. Yes, I was. So, based on the the hints from our two hosts here. <laughs> I'm guessing, and maybe I can get like a half point or a point twenty five point um, that it's E.T. Yeah, is it E.T. Which is also the first movie that I saw in. Um, I saw it at a drive-in. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, that was a yeah. big deal. Aaron Cash surprises his mother by saying, "Hey, mom, did you know that blank is the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and moon?" What is the object? Is it Venus? Ding, ding, yeah. ding, yes! <laughs> very good. That's right. Which is very, which you can see really well right now. It is no doubt the brightest thing after the moon at night. All right, there's a bonus question. So guys, don't look too sad. There's a chance still. There's still hope. <laughs> Let's go! And not surprisingly, we're gonna keep on the space theme. So here's the bonus question, and whoever thinks they know is, know it can can raise your hand. One of the Challenger crew's planned missions was to observe this small object in space. What was the object? Yes, sir. It was Haley's comet, wasn't it? Yes, Haley's yeah. comet. All right, and I could use this as a tiebreaker now because this came up just once in the very beginning. What are comets made of? Remember the teacher asked the students, what are comets made of? Does anyone know that? Yes, go ahead guys. Ice, Ice and, and dust. dust. Yeah. 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 I forgot Ice and Dust, so I would have gotten that one wrong. Although oh, it, sounds right. like a good, it sounds like a good band name, right? Ice oh, and wow. Dust. You should just give that away, that's really good. <laughs> Our librarian would like to be your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay! 
you? I have, I have an, I just have a small list of qualifications for being my best friend. You have, you have to learn, you have to know, you have to love to read. So I think we got that one. Yes. yes. That's good. That's yes. good, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you also have to really love uh, super corny, bad puns and dad jokes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good.